had like a lost kitty sign and then they said um, it got taken down. Oh, it's been ripped. Been ripped? Yeah. Uh, What do you think happened to the kitty? Nothing. You just got out? How do you think it got out? You think they let it out and it just didn't come back or did they think it snuck out? Snuck out. Snuck out? Maybe it was a maybe it was an inside kitty. Maybe it was an inside kitty and now it's not an outside kitty? Think it's possible that it's still in the house? What if they just misplaced it? Oh, I think they lost their kitty. Completely? Just going right now to um, harmonize brain centers. It's uh, a it's low energy neurofeedback system. Basically, it, it puts like a map of your brain on um, you know this network, and uh, you know they do all these scans of it, and then they find out places where you know your brain's not functioning properly. Kind of like exercising, you know, where you might have weak points or different things or what you need to build up, and they send basically signals to these weak spots. They call it sleepy spots to wake them up and get them to function properly. So you know if you have concussions like I have had playing football and other injuries in the past, um, you know, you probably have these areas of, um, you know, low activity. And uh, I noticed something with um, my short-term uh, memory, you know, I just was like forgetting people's names as I was talking to them. So, you know, I, I wanted to go see what was going on. Someone had recommended the center. And so I went and I'm on like my six or six session right now. I think you can do like about 10, uh, but I've already seen an improvement in my numbers and I'm trying to see she's being more aggressive now with the treatment options to see if we can, uh, you know, know some real feedback right now. Therefore, I'm just not wasting money thrown out the door, have someone zapping my brain for no reason. So we're going to that now. Right, oh yeah, because if you it. see if you see the front shot, right, they got to do the front, but then they also do the back, right? So like, mm -hmm. they do a full set that's shooting the front of the scene, and then you know you watch you watch someone down a uh, hallway, yeah. and then they show the front of the guy, then they watch him back. Well, that camera has to get out of the way. It's like people don't realize the setup that actually takes place and like how much movie sets are. I was on um, The Sitter with Jonah Hill, um, in that set, and it's just amazing. Like that, that kind of like opened my eyes a lot to like how many setups there are in each scene. Yeah. That's awesome. Or how many people, like how many times you have to retake a scene and then you're like, oh wait, are they standing in the exact same position? Does their hair look yeah, the same? Yeah. Are they wearing shoes in the season? The scene? Oh my, like, the, oh yeah, my because there could be something in one scene that's actually not, there was a towel in one scene, someone put a towel somewhere, they had to do the whole thing over. Wow.
Stretch. They roast outside your roots. <laughs> 